Let's take a traditional tulip block, but make it cool as you go. Welcome back to Pattern Pool TV. I'm Monica, and if you're new here, I post a video every week about how I make my quilt as you go quilts. This is part six of our free quilt as you go along, and if you're joining in, you'll need to make two. These are all my scrappy blocks so far. You can join in at any time, or just stick around and see how to make this fun quilt as you go block. This quilt as you go block starts at 10 inches and can be trimmed smaller if you like. This quilt as you go block is suitable to be joined together with either the joining strip method or my easy cover strip method. You'll notice when I'm making this block, I'm using my easy cover strip method, so the batting is cut half inch smaller all the way around the edge, but if you wanted to use the joining strip method, just cut your batting to the same size as your backing fabric. To make one tulip block, you'll need to choose four fabrics. I've used a yellow, a pink, a green, and a lighter background fabric so that all of my tulip fabrics stand out. Here's what you'll need to cut, so take a screenshot or head to our blog because you'll also find the cutting instructions there. So when you're all cut out, you'll need to cut the two large background square fabrics once on the diagonal to give you four triangles. Okay, to prepare your block, take your 10 inch backing square and position your nine inch square of batting in the center so that you have that half inch gap all the way around the edge. If you like, you can hold the two layers together with some basting spray or a couple of dabs of glue as I have shown in previous videos. Using your favorite marker, I'm just using a 4B lead pencil, we're going to mark up the block. Don't mark dark lines because dark lines will show through on light fabrics. Make the first mark going from diagonal corner to corner and mark a line going from the opposite corner to corner. Now mark a line in the center of the block going vertically. So our block is 10 inches, so our center is going to be a five inch line. And mark a center line going horizontally. This is the bottom of our block and this is the top of our block. The yellow is the first piece that we're going to sew on. To mark the position for the yellow, what we need to do is looking at the top part of our block. We have got a triangle here, we've got two side triangles and a bottom triangle. So working on our top triangle, take your ruler and locate a line that is a quarter of an inch away from the edge. Position that quarter inch line onto your block, so onto those marked lines of our top triangle. We want to mark this line, so about three inches there and three inches up on this side and what that has given us is our starting point for the yellow piece. You'll also notice that your 45 degree line is running along your center line. Hold the yellow piece in place with a few dabs of fabric glue or a pin. Be careful to make sure that your corners are aligned on the center line at the top and bottom of your square. So now we need to prepare the tulip pieces to sew the points on the end. Now watch carefully to make sure that those points end up at the right ends. Lay out your pieces for the tulip. We're going to do a short pink on this side and then a long pink on the opposite side, a short green on this side and a long green on this side. Onto the wrong side of four of your background small squares, mark a diagonal line going from corner to corner. Now take your background squares and place them onto the outer corners of our tulip pieces and we want all of the lines to be running vertically, so from the top of the block to the bottom of the block. Carefully take these four pieces to the sewing machine. So I'm threaded up with a neutral coloured thread, a size 70 needle and a straight stitch with a length of two and I'm going to now stitch on the marked diagonal lines. A tip is to sew slightly to the outside of your marked lines. Before I trim away the excess, I like to press my square over to make a triangle and stitching just outside of my marked line ensures that my point will meet the point of the rectangle. And this is what your pieces should look like now. Now trim away the excess fabric, trimming a quarter of an inch away from the stitching line. 
and now you can press the pieces again. Now place your pieces back on the block to make sure that your points are at the right end. Now that we've got the points sewn onto our tulip pieces, we can head to the machine and start stitching and flipping, but we're actually going to start with our smaller background fabric pieces first. We're going to position this in the top left hand square of the block and then we're going to place it right sides together with our yellow square and we're going to stitch along this edge here first. So back of the machine I have a neutral coloured thread on, I have a size 80 quilting needle, a stitch length of three and I'm just using my standard foot with my needle position moved over to give me a quarter inch seam from the edge of my foot to the needle. So take your small background square and place it right sides together with the yellow centre square. Mark a dot that's a quarter inch away from each end and that's going to prevent our stitching from crossing over on the back and looking messy. We're going to sew from dot to dot either doing a little reverse stitch or tying off at the beginning and end of each row of stitching. Flip this piece out making sure that it is running level with that marked line there. So it's going to be positioned a quarter of an inch away from our diagonal line here. Spin your block and take the background rectangle and place that right sides together with the two pieces that we just sewed. Now at this point in time you'll be able to check if your quarter inch seam allowance is nice and perfect because this rectangle should be the same size as your underneath pieces that you have just sewed. If your seam allowance is okay mark your dot at the top and at the bottom so it's a quarter of an inch away from the edge and we're now going to sew again once again from dot to dot. Flip this piece over, finger crease. When you flip this piece over you want to make sure that this corner is level with our centre marked line and this edge down here is a quarter of an inch away from our diagonal line here. To make sure that everything stays nice and accurate if you like you can hold these pieces in place with a tiny dab of fabric glue. Spin the block and take your first tulip piece and place it right sides together with our yellow centre. Mark your quarter inch dots and sew from dot to dot. Flip the piece over. Our tulip block is coming together and if you want to make sure that it's perfectly centered you could put a little dab of glue in each corner and making sure that it lines up with the center lines. Our blocks really coming together now and all we have to do is finish off by sewing on opposite triangles first of all and then coming back and sewing on the remaining two opposite triangles. So on your outer triangles lining up the center creases with our center diagonal lines and also mark your dots and make the dots a quarter of an inch away from our underneath fabrics. Be careful when sewing your outer triangles because this edge is on the bias grain so make sure you don't stretch it.
So these blocks were a little bit trickier than normal. And if you wanna see some step-by-step -step photos and get some extra tips, head to our website. We've got a blog post with some step-by-step -step photos. And I hope you enjoyed sewing with me today and we'll see you next week. Bye.